G'day, I'm David Moyle. Welcome to Bent Notes on Location at the 2016 Wangaratta Festival of Jazz and Blues. We're about to see Hetty Kate perform in the St Patrick's Hall with James Sherlock on guitar, Carl Mackey on sax, Ben Roberts on the bass and Danny Fisher on the drums. Part of her Comes Love EP will be featured during this particular performance and we'll be chatting with Hetty shortly after the show. We had a preview during rehearsal before Chelsea Wilson introduced Hetty to the festival goers. just come off stage after a wonderful presentation, the two to three o'clock show here at the Wangaratta Festival of Jazz and Blues in the St Pat's Hall, a celebration of love CD. Yes, it is. Well, well a lot Comes of, Love. Was comes Love. Name, it's yeah. a little bit of a warning, actually, that particular song. Comes Love, Nothing Can Be Done, You're In Trouble. You're in trouble. A beautiful rendition there today, Hetty. Thank you. I love to sing that song, and uh, it's, just a, it's just a very very rich song to sing. There's lots of beautiful words, there's lots of beautiful harmony in it, so it's fun. And you had a fantastic audience. The, the hall was packed, literally. It Walter was. Wall was standing room only. Yeah, and people were sitting on the floor. I was oh, I didn't very, see them. Yeah, yeah, they were, in a very loungy way. They were oh. lounging on the floor. It was, it was very flattering. I'm thrilled that people came. With all that audience there, what do you enjoy about that audience when it is such a packed audience? Makes, it makes, well, uh, let me preface that. It, it is lovely to have uh, a lot of people there, of course, because you want to do a good job and you want whatever you're, whoever you're playing for, if it's a venue, to be successful and to have an audience there, of course. But personally, it doesn't make any difference to me whether it's two people, 20 people, 100 people, 3,000 people. It doesn't make any difference. The only difference is that when it's a smaller audience, I can I can look at people and when I'm talking to them I can I can see their face but when it's when it's a big really big room I find I think oh okay I'm just going to pretend that that section there is one person and just sort of generally look you know so that would be the difference but it's they were very warm and they're very happy today so that's nice and why is it that the music you you sing and play is so easy to listen to well, I think all of the jazz music really from the 20s to 40s, it was just such a, a prime uh, composing and songwriting era. You know, it was, th there wasn't anything else. That's really how they told their stories and how they entertained themselves. And um, there were songs that were so catchy. I mean, they were pop songs of the time. So I think the lyrics are interesting and still very current as well. I think that makes a big difference. You know, you talk about love and loss back in the 20s, we're still people, we still feel topics. that, we still feel it here, we just stalk people more on Facebook, so well, yes, we maybe do, that's don't just we? <laughs> Now, your stage presence is just amazing. It, it's, it's warm, it's engaging, and it's full of energy. How important do you find that that stage present, presence that you have developed is to your performance? Well, I don't know if I've, I don't know if I've developed it. I mean, I, I guess I would have developed it over the last decade just from performing all the time. So the more often you perform, the more it just becomes a normal thing to do. So it's like going, getting up brushing your teeth. Okay, well I'm singing a song, it's fine, it's relaxing. Um, but I think sometimes to my detriment, I just chat away to people. And, and some, audiences, some audience members don't like it, they just want something that's a little more formal but that's not how I am in real life. And I think, I think being, for me, if I see a performer, I want to see a person. I want to know they're a real person and um, they don't have to ham it up, but just acknowledging the audience and being warm 
I think is a it draws draws people in. It makes me like people when I see them on stage and they're like that. It so. links person to person. Yeah. Character to character. Yeah. Eyes to eyes. Yeah. So so I hope that I mean it would be wonderful to feel that people felt that way after seeing me perform. They felt relaxed, they felt, oh, you know, they're having fun on stage, we can have fun in the audience too, so. And I notice you still have your cup of Earl Grey tea with tea. you. I have my tea, I have my tea. I know, I've just quit coffee. I don't know, by the time you show this video to people, I might be back on the, the hard stuff, you well, know. It was nice to see you up on stage with a cup of tea. I know, it's very British. Very British I indeed. I know, <laughs> oh. <laughs> now you're here for the entire weekend, you're performing tomorrow at the Pincent? I'm performing tomorrow at the Pincent, yeah, for three sets. Oh, we're going to have some serious you're gonna fun. You're going to have some great fun. We're going to have some fun. What, are, what else have you got on your list of things to see while you're up here? Is there anything particular that's jumping out? Shannon Barnett. Shannon. Mm -hmm. I love her. I love her so much as a... And actually just aside from any of her musical, prodigious musical talent. And Have you heard her sing? I haven't recently. Oh, heard. just heaven. Um, but she's just you now she's just a very likable beautiful warm person and a monster 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 musician so i can't wait to see her today and she's got some german band with her as well so that that's a real treat absolutely that's my fantastic. number one to do hetty kate thank you so much for thank talking you. to bent notes on location love bent notes thank you